Hey y'all, welcome to my curls. Look how short my hair is. Y'all, I got a haircut this morning and wow, we cut off a lot of my colored hair. So this video is about an update on my transition to gray hair. If you all are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Renee and I've been going gray. It is 17 months now and I actually got a haircut this morning. So that's why I'm doing this video. Seventeen months ago, I stopped coloring my hair. Seventeen long months ago. October of 2018 was the last time that I colored my hair and I have been going gray ever since. For the first two months that I decided to stop coloring my hair, I did put a toner on my hair to try to like lessen the demarcation line. It didn't work, it frustrated me, I stopped doing it, and I just have done this cold turkey. So, it is now 17 months, actually I think tomorrow, since the last time I colored my hair. And this is what I've got. So I'm gonna kinda do this video in reverse, y'all, and let me tell you why. I filmed the video this morning, I got out of bed, I had an early appointment with Betsy, so I filmed my hair because I wanted you to see it before I went and got a haircut. I looked like a stinking hot mess. So I decided that is not how I wanted to start my video because anybody who is new to my channel is gonna turn on this video and see me and go, whoa, this is not a lady that I wanna watch. And they're gonna leave my video. So that's not a great plan. So I'm starting the video now, talking to you. I've had a shower, I've got makeup on, I fixed my hair, but now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to show you what I recorded this morning so you can see how much of the color that I had, what my hair looked like before I went to Betsy's. So here's my hair before I got it cut this morning. I wanted to film this super quick and just show you my hair because I'm hoping to get rid of a lot of the dyed ends today. And when I get back from Betsy's, I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to show you what I got. Let me show you what's going on. I'm going to try to get Betsy to get rid of some little colored pieces. I have gotten so many comments from you all on my YouTube channels about me getting this big clunk of hair over here. This is just where my hair naturally accumulates. It wants to fall to the front. My curl pattern like just brings it all to the front. I know there's not a lot I can do about it, but I'm gonna talk to Betsy today to see if we can kind of do something about this. But I'm gonna try because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get a haircut next. I get a haircut every six weeks, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine in six weeks. And I wasn't due for this appointment until next week, but she's working everybody in. It's so like this little color right there, I'm gonna have her cut that off. So let me show you really quick my hair. And again, I'm sorry, I just got to bed. It's super early in the morning. I didn't know this was happening, but look at my hair. See all this little ends left? But look, I am so white underneath there. It's just the ends. But I'm gonna see what Betsy can cut off. My shape has gotten pretty bad. So when I get back from my hair appointment with Betsy, I'm gonna take a shower, wash my hair, and I'm gonna finish this video. I just wanted you all to see before I went what my hair looked like and how much color I had. Look how frizzy this is. Oh, but look, when I pull it out, it's just, oh my gosh, just that little bit on the end. Like, I don't even think, look, that doesn't even have any. It's just that. I am getting to the end, y'all. Well, last time I got my hair cut, I asked Betsy if she could take off a lot. My colors all accumulated right there. I asked her if she could kind of cut some of that out, and she said no. And if I really wanted her to do it, she would, but I had to. If somebody asked me who my hairstylist was, I couldn't give her name because she said to go in here and just cut all of this off would... Sorry, dogs. I'm sorry. It would so drastically change my haircut that my hair would be like huge on top and, and super weird at the bottom. And so she did not want me to do that. So my color just really remains 
on the tips, just right in here. Yeah. But look up underneath here. No color. So off I go to Betsy's and I'll see you in a minute. Here, I told Betsy when I went in this morning, let's just cut out some more color. Let's just get rid of the old stuff. And thanks to you all who have commented on my videos about all of the, the hair that was accumulating right here. I know, I saw it, didn't need you to tell me. I only get my hair cut about every six weeks now. And so my hair grows really fast. So all of this had just kind of accumulated into a thick lump. So I told Betsy, let's work on that. We need to kind of tone this down and we need to get rid of some color. So that is what she did. So here's what I got y'all. Let me just give you a turnaround so you can see my hair. But first of all, look how short this is. Look how taken in, debulked as Betsy and I call it. I got rid of all the hair, y'all, and a lot of my colored hair is gone. This piece that I showed you all before I left this morning has been cut out. I don't want to pull it out because I just took a shower and styled my hair, so I don't want to, like, pick it apart. Look, look though. I just have little bits of color left, just little bits. This is my natural dark hair color. It's just this little hair, these couple little curls right here and right here that have little tips of old color on them. Y'all, I'm almost there. Let me turn around and show you. Let me take my mirror. Look. Look at this. Look how short it is. So Betsy, we cut the length, we cut some color, we debulked it really good over here in the corner, and this is what I got. I honestly think two more haircuts and I'm gonna be done. Two more haircuts and my gray hair transition should be done. I think the only place some color might hang on is just gonna be right in here, these little bits. But yeah, I think it's looking really good. The reason I look like a hot mess this morning was last night when I went to bed, there was a threat of some bad storms moving through the area, but you know, it's springtime. So there was a threat of some storms. Two o'clock this morning, Maxie, my little white miniature schnauzer who sleeps on my bed in his dog bed, I heard him jump off the bed and it woke me up. It startled me. He never gets off the bed or never even moves all night long and he jumped off the bed. So I thought maybe he fell off the bed. So I got up and I'm looking for him and I can't find him anywhere, but he's in our bedroom because the door's closed. I found him behind the chair in the corner. And I'm like, what, what are you doing? So I'm dragging him out of there, trying to get him back in bed. And then the tornado sirens went off. We live about uh, half a mile from where one of the sirens is located. So it woke, you know, here we go, the tornado sirens. So I wake Randy up who sleeps like a, like he hears absolutely nothing. So I had to wake him up. He jumps out of bed. He's completely startled. The dogs are up at this point because the sirens are going off. Both of them are scared of storms. Wasn't really raining. There was just a lot of lightning. And Maxie apparently knew something was happening. That's why he got up and jumped off the bed to hide. So Randy turns on, on the TV and yes, there is a tornado coming our way. So in our house, the best place for us to go is in the utility room. And our utility room is super, super small. Like it, it's not even a room. It's kind of like a closet, sort of. Randy won't go in there. He's claustrophobic. So the dogs and I, Maxie and Pollux, got in the utility room with the dog beds. Randy stayed in the living room with the TV on. Brecken was not here. She was spending the night with a friend and we waited it out. I was only in there about 10 minutes. We all got back in bed, but that completely disrupted my sleep cycle. And when the alarm went off this morning, I was, I guess, in a deep, deep sleep and had to get up and just kind of toss on clothes to go to Betsy's, but I recorded the video. So, that's why I look like a hot mess. That is why I look 
horrible, but I wanted you all to see my hair before I went. So that's my hair update, y'all. That is what going gray looks like at 17 months. At least for me, a woman with really dark, very curly hair. My hair grows fast, like I said, and this is what I got 17 months in. Let me give you a final spin. Whoop, whoop. And there I am, there's my gray. If you're new to my channel, guys, I would love for you to subscribe. I love to talk about my hair, my curly hair, my gray hair, all things gray. I think it's a wonderful way to be and I just love to talk about it. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video and I'll see you later.